Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyMarketing.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can see your competitors' ads on Facebook and Instagram. And no, this is not so you can steal their content and steal their ideas and everything like that, but it's more for inspiration and to see what other people are doing. So anyway, Facebook has a really great resource that is free, which is also very nice. It's just at facebook.com slash ads slash library, and you should come to a website like this. And then you could go ahead and search for your competitors and see what ads they're running. Like it's that straightforward. So go ahead and select your location and I'm gonna go ahead and select all ads right here and then you can go ahead and search by keyword or advertiser so when it comes to advertiser you could plug in the Facebook business page and see all the ads that particular page is running so for example I follow John Loomer and you can see I did a recent search on him but John Loomer he does a lot of advertising on Facebook and I learned a lot from him so if you don't follow him already I definitely recommend checking him out but let's see what ads that he's running so I'll go ahead and click on his name right here. And just like that, I can see all of his ads right here. Now there's one thing that you may wanna do first though, is go to filters here and I'll click on active ads, apply my filter here. So that way I can see what is currently running. And so here's all the ads. So he's launched several in January, 2024. Let's come on down here and scroll on down even further. Here's some in December of 2023. So if they've been running since December, of 2023, that's about two months ago at this point. Well, then they're probably delivering results for him. So I might wanna pay more attention to these ads rather than the ones that he just released. So just for the sake of example, we'll go ahead and check out this ad right here. So I can see that it is currently active. It started running on December 1st. It's running on Facebook, Instagram, as well as the audience network. And this ad has multiple versions. We go ahead and click on see ad details and it'll pop up a bigger picture of the ad and we could go ahead and read all the copy right here and see how he's got things broken down and see his marketing message and all that type of stuff and then of course we can go ahead and see his image here and then also his headline and his call to action button is sign up and he has multiple versions so here's another version so it looks like he has a square image as well and then he has additional assets from this ad so if I click this drop down here I can see that he has links as well as text here. So it looks like he's using a lead ad and he's not actually taking somebody to a page on his website to opt in. But I can get a good insight onto everything that he's doing with this particular ad. Let's close out of it real quick and let's try this one as well. So I'll go see ad details. And this one has a lot less copy here, but I can see that there's multiple versions. So he has a square one as well as the rectangle one and additional assets from this ad. So he's using links and he has text here as well. And so it looks like he's using a lead ad here for this particular ad. So that is cool and interesting to see how people are doing things. Let me scroll back up here. And so these look like content-based ads to me. So let me come up here and let me go ahead and click on the see ad details here. So in this particular one, he launched it a few days ago. It's running on Facebook, Instagram, Audience Network, and Messenger. And so this is a video ad right here. And so he has a little lead in to his video. You can't keep and doing this. So he's got a little 15 Too many second video, which lets it play in all different locations. And then he has an option right here to watch more. So if he clicks on that, then this brings him over to the website. They can watch the you full version of doing the video. And so my guess is he's pushing a bunch of these different content ads right here to cold traffic to try and get them warmed up. And then he's going to be retargeting people using these ads down here that are driving them to register or sign up for his email list. And, and that leads me to something that I want to point out. So a downside to looking at this is that you don't know who he's advertising to or like what step his audience is currently at. So you may have to do some of your own analysis to try and figure that out. So to me, it looks like he's pushing a whole bunch of content out there and then he's gonna be retargeting with these types of ads. And he's running lead ads versus bringing people to the website in order to sign up. And these lead gen ads must be doing pretty good because they've been running for two months. And one other downside about looking at ads here is we don't see any social engagement on them. So we can't see how many likes or comments or anything like that are on these ads. And so you're kind of limited to how long these ads have been running. And basically the longer the ad's been running, probably the better it is at producing results. But anyway, this is a great free tool that you can use to see what your competitors are doing for their advertising efforts and hopefully give you some inspiration and ideas for your advertising efforts. And hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or check out crazyadmarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.